everybody and welcome to the channel. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at this which is probably one of my most anticipated MCU releases so far, that being the 2021 reissue of the Spider-Man Homecoming Vulture. Honestly, like many of you, I absolutely lost my mind. My excitement went through the roof when Hasbro announced they were going to be reissuing this as the original Builder Figure or Builder Wing set goes for astronomical prices on the aftermarket and I came incredibly close in actually snapping one up but I'm super glad that I waited out as this is in fact more accurate to his appearance from Homecoming and personally I do believe this to be a slight sneaky way of Hasbro actually slipping this guy in just before the Spider-Man No Way Home movie comes out as at least in my personal opinion I really do believe that Michael Keaton will show up at least in some capacity in that film but you can see here in regards to the box this guy looks incredible you can already see some of the additional accessories such as the actual flight mask we've got the gauntlet sections there as well as the actual controllers of the flight gear as we spin our attention here to the side we've got a wicked image there of Keaton's vulture and as we just spin our attention here to the back once again a fantastic piece of artwork an image of the actual figure with the wings fully splayed out and we do in fact get a very brief bio with an impressive flying apparatus Adrian Toomes soars through the skies to threaten Spider-Man something which I'm really hoping he can do in the upcoming No Way Home movie so without further ado let's crack this guy open and see as to whether or not he was in fact worth the wait and the anticipation that's been building up ever since really and truly I missed out on that original wave and so here we have the vulture cracked open and out of the packaging and my goodness was this guy well worth the wait this is awesome no wonder he was so highly sought after that wing pack is just super cool and the actual figure himself is really really awesome as well now before we touch base with all of the accessories I thought it would be best to start off with the actual vulture himself before we actually armor him up with a few of the navigators and of course the gauntlets you can see here that in regards to the head sculpt of course as I don't own the previous version I'll be unable to give you guys a direct comparison but I'm pretty certain that they've given him a complete brand new head sculpt this looks so much more accurate to the movie you can see how we've only got the one oxygen tube actually sticking out here through the side of the mouthpiece and I think this looks super super awesome you can see how it does in fact extend and peg there into the neck and the paint apps for the most part also are really well done now if you are able to look through several of these on the shelf I would definitely recommend to watch out here for those really cool green beady eyes you can see that sadly here for mine there is a slight paint blemish it's definitely not the end of the world but that is definitely something I would recommend watching out for but you can see the metallic silver used here for the lower part of the jaw looks awesome as so does the paint that goes around here to the back and you can just see the actual shade of black that cast this out and I think looks really cool you can see all of the various different straps and buckles just overall it's a super super awesome design as we turn our attention here to the torso from what I can tell this appears to be just basically a recolor so this is the same as the original 2017 release so you can see there really nice sculpt work I do in fact love the fur texture detail that we've got going on here for the hood you can see the zips as well as a few of the harness and buckles and as we spin our attention here down to the lower section once more we've got some nice metallic green as well as silver paint apps and overall the crease and wrinkled effect to the actual jacket itself looks super cool as we just spin our attention here to the back despite this being an area which when you actually have the wing attachment pegged on you won't be able to see they've completely painted this which I think is awesome you can see some super cool metallic silver as well as once again some green straps and as we just spin our attention here to the wrists you can also see the cuffs there clearly defined and everything from the legs down I believe are in fact a brand new sculpt so you can see we've got pinless tech going on here for these knees as well as the various braces that of course the vulture would have in order to support the weight of the wing pack which I think looks really cool so we've got some nice armor there going on for the knees and then as we just spin our attention here down to the boots as well as the actual claws of the feet you can see the design on these is super super awesome now very quickly going through articulation sadly this guy can't really look up all that far if you really push it and almost pry it off the ball joint you can get him looking up to a decent range but once again considering this guy can fly I do wish that range of motion was slightly better of course we can look down as well as tilt side to side slightly rotate left to right we merely do just get a rotation here at the shoulder as well as a hinge joint out to the sides full rotation there at the actual bicep as well as a double joint here at the elbow which surprisingly actually can't bend that great sadly but we do in fact get a full rotation here at the wrist a hinge joint back and forth we do get an ab crunch going forwards and backwards as well as a waist rotation the legs can kick forwards that far which is awesome back to what I'd say about that far out to the sides rotation there at the thigh as well as a double joint here at the knee which actually can bend to a pretty decent range and then finally here for the foot this can go forwards and backwards as well as rock side to side to an amazing extent but sadly they haven't actually added a hinge joint here for the claw it would have been great if you could have in fact actually ratcheted these down to close them much like we saw in the movie so you could have had him actually picking up Spidey but nevertheless that's just a minor critique but what is otherwise a really really nice looking figure I think just as a standalone release this looks super cool now as we turn to some of these accessories of course this guy actually comes with quite a bit new so we do in fact get these gauntlet pieces you can see here they've been completely painted in metallic silver and much like the suit we've got some awesome metallic green highlights 
scattered throughout these. Of course, we do infer to get a pair of these, which is awesome, as well as a pair of navigators. So you can once again see the detail on these is really cool. We've got some nice green paintwork as well as nice sculpt work going on for these, and we've got the actual grips. And then we also do get an actual mask to go over the top of the eyes, I guess a visor. And in order to actually peg that on, you can see two slots here on the side of the head that this will in fact align up with. So just ensure that you've got this positioned appropriately. Snap this section here onto either side and there you can see you've got the vulture now with the visor attached looking once again really really awesome i do love that effect and considering the green is incredibly vibrant they are in fact still piercing through this smoky transparent piece which is awesome now in order to actually add some of the other accessories on you will in fact actually have to pop the wrists clean off it's very easy to do and then just slide the gauntlet pieces on you'll want it so that the metallic green is facing outwards and not inwards so you can see here that we've merely just got the flat silver and once that's completed you'll then just want to peg that on of course repeat the exact same process here for the opposite side so just slide this gauntlet piece on and peg that there into place and i think these look really cool very seamless here with the rest of the sculpt you can see how they peg very very nicely there onto the side of the arm and don't restrict articulation at all and depending on how you actually have them posed they can look really natural with the actual silhouette of this figure which i think is fantastic and then as we actually turn here to what i believe are the navigators you do want to slightly pry the fist open just so you can cram in there that actual grip and of course come here to this side and repeat the exact same process so just snap that in there and there you've got the vulture fully equipped with all of these handheld weapons looking super super awesome that is a great attention to detail and once again is a marked improvement when in comparison to the original builder figure that we got released in 2017 this is super super cool and then we turn it to the actual wing attachment itself now this from what i can tell is in fact just a direct carryover from the previous version it's essentially just a repaint but a super super awesome repaint now as we spin our attention here to the back they have opted to go with a very vibrant blue for these actual propellers personally i'm not sure as to why they've done this as in the movie i don't recall these being that bright but it's still a really cool color scheme you can see here as we turn our attention to the middle section we've got a nice variety of purple blue and of course green and the sculpt work across the board for this pack just looks so cool you can see all of the amazing paintwork that we've got going on here for the wings the green paint has just turned out so nicely barely any blemishes on this at all and of course we've got these really nice jagged spikes here towards the tips and the same can also be applied here but the other side as we just spin our attention here to the interior once again some impeccable sculpt work this is an area which you actually sadly won't see all that much when we get it pegged on to the actual vulture himself but i think it's turned out really really nicely overall and we'll very quickly go through the articulation whilst we've got it actually unmanned so we've got a hinge joint here for the wings which can go forwards and backwards as well as a hinge joint up and down so you can lower and raise these to your own personal desire the actual propellers themselves can hinge out to the sides we can also hinge these upwards and the actual blades themselves can spin which i found to be a great attention to detail that is super super awesome and of course the actual wings themselves can hinge back and forth and these will accommodate depending on how you actually have this posed which is really really cool now if I had any critiques in regards to accessories, it's that I would have loved them to have given this guy an actual Michael Keaton head sculpt. I really don't have any idea as to why they decided against that. Maybe it's down to licensing agreement, but it would have been awesome and truly would have been the icing on the cake for this guy. Perhaps they've got it lined up for a slightly later release. I guess we'll just have to wait and see as to what the next installment of the Spider-Man movies have in store for us, but definitely would have loved to have gotten a Keaton head sculpt. And as per tradition with this Vulture set, we do in fact also get a display stand as when you do get this applied onto the figure, it does become incredibly top heavy. So without further ado, let's talk and let's actually get down to business so you simply just want to port that huge peg into the back of the vulture and there you've got him fully equipped with the flight gear the actual visor the gauntlets as well as the navigators and he looks absolutely fantastic and you can see i don't in fact actually have the display stand added onto this guy and he's still able to support the weight of the wing pack which i just thought was super awesome when i bring out some comparisons in just a second i'll try my best to give you guys a full perspective of how the wings look actually attached onto him but no doubt they were in fact part of a builder figure as they are absolutely massive they're really really awesome and he just looks super cool i really do hope this guy shows up in the movie now if you do decide to be on the safer side you can in fact actually insert this display stand depending on how you have the legs split it will in fact just groove into the wing set like that i do believe it's supposed to go this way so just align that up appropriately and there you've got the vulture with the actual flight stand applied personally i find this to be if anything actually a downgrade it makes him slightly more wobbly maybe i've actually misinstalled it perhaps it is supposed to go this way but 
doesn't seem to want to sit right. So, yeah, personally, I actually find that he stands better without the display base. But I guess for those of you who want to get this guy into perhaps some slightly more dynamic poses, it is definitely an option. But overall, just such a fantastic release. And you can, in fact, actually curl the wings around the vulture in order to give you the impression that he is, in fact, actually protecting himself, perhaps from firepower or trying to, in fact, actually capture Spidey or pierce him with one of these razor sharp tips. But just overall, such a fantastic looking figure. And as promised, here's me trying my absolute best to, in fact, show the full wingspan. This guy is, in fact, even bigger than my review station. So honestly, he's just going to demand so much shelf presence when you do, in fact, actually get him in the collection. But honestly, just such a super awesome figure for some actual comparisons with some of the other six inch figures in this Legend series line. Here we've got the Vulture compared next to two Spider-Man figures. So the newly released No Way Home integrated suit, as well as the older Iron Spider suit. And you can once again see that he absolutely dwarfs these guys, as he really should based on the movie. And for some actual villain comparisons, here we've got Vulture compared next to Mysterio, as well as Venom. And I'm really hoping that towards the end of this year, or even early next year, we could in fact actually have the Green Goblin, Doc Ock, and of course Electro. And honestly, that would be such an awesome Sinister Six lineup. And if all six of these guys were in fact to appear in this upcoming movie, it would just absolutely blow my mind as I love each and every one of these villains. And so, some final thoughts here for this 2021 reissue of the Spider-Man Homecoming Vulture Builder figure. Honestly, I'm just absolutely ecstatic to finally have this guy in the collection and he was well worth the wait. I'm super thankful to the Hasbro team for actually giving us this guy with updated components as of course the older version was slightly dated in comparison to what we've now got here and this guy is just so much more accurate down to the actual harness that we've got on the knees and of course the actual flight gear that we've got going on for the hands and for the most part the colorization to not only the suit of the Vulture but of course the wings. I'm a little skeptical in regards to the propeller blades but nevertheless I think as an overall figure this is absolutely fantastic and if you missed out on the original BAF then this is an absolute no-brainer you have to pick this guy up because I believe he retails for roughly 35 to 40 pounds here in the UK which in my opinion is an absolute steal especially considering how large that wing pack is and he's no doubt one of the best Marvel Legends figures that I actually own in the collection as he just demands so so much presence honestly he looks super cool and he's one of the major Spidey villains so once again you really do have to have this guy and if rumors are true that he will in fact make an appearance in that No Way Home movie then once that movie hits the silver screen this guy's gonna once again shoot up to astronomical prices so I would definitely recommend recommend jumping on him sooner rather than later already he's proving to be quite difficult to actually track down so once again definitely go out and pick this guy up if you haven't already got him in the collection even if you own the older version you can still sell that on and of course in fact actually get this guy i would love to know down in the comment section below on what you guys think of this vulture figure do you guys like it as much as i do and what do you think of this new reissue also be sure to let me know on what you think of the review and until my next video i'll see you then thanks for watching